The new house. Daddy Pig is working hard in his workroom. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a new house. It's very small. Is it a house for elves and fairies? Oh, oh, no. This is a model. The real house will be much bigger. Ah. And this is a drawing of what needs to be built. I think something is missing, Daddy. There. Pepper has drawn a swing to go outside the house. Perfect. Would you like to visit the new house? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are! But, Daddy, there's nothing here. That's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger! Digger! <laughs> here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. Uh, Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or sticks? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <laughs> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? Yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr. Bull. Bye-bye. Bye! George put the sticky mud down and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. Almost finished. It just needs to be inspected. Mr Rabbit is the building inspector. Hmm. Very good. But wait, it's not finished. What? You forgot the swing. Moo! Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Now it's all ready for our new neighbours to move in. Neighbours? Yes, Pepper. We've got new neighbours. Mr Wolf and his family are moving into their new home. Oh, look! Little piggies. Hello, I'm Wendy Wolf. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Thank you for building our house, Mr Pig. What's it made of? Straw? Sticks? It's made of bricks. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... <laughs> Hmm, that is strong. What's your own house made of, Mr Pig? Bricks. So don't even think about it. Oh, a swing. That was my idea. It's very good. You have a go. Can you push me? No. I'll huff and puff you instead. <gasps> <laughs> 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 Mummy Rabbit Bump. Pepper and George are playing with Susie Sheep and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Here are Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. Squeak. I've got a secret. What is it? My mummy's got a bump in her tummy. Ooh. Has she eaten too much? No. There's a baby rabbit inside. Mummy Rabbit? 
Is there really a baby rabbit in your tummy? Yes. Would you like to listen to it? Yes, please. Can you hear a little heartbeat? Yes, I can. It's going boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just moved. Yes. Sometimes babies give a little kick. Nay. What will you call it? I don't know. Would you children like to think of a name? Yes, please. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. <coughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? I can't have coffee, but I am quite hungry. Would you like a carrot? I'm a bit off carrots. Have you got any potatoes? Yes, we do. Maybe a potato with jelly and cheese and strawberry jam, please. Yeah. <laughs> a potato with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam? What a funny mixture of food. We need to think of a name for the baby. Yes. If the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how about... Ruth Rabbit. Roxanne Rabbit. Sharon Rabbit. I don't think so, Pedro. Sharon Rabbit sounds wrong. I like Rosie. Rosie Rabbit. <coughs> it's perfect. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh. How about Rufus Rabbit? Raymond Rabbit. Michael Rabbit. Michael Rabbit? No! Robbie Rabbit. Yes, Robbie Rabbit. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Rosie if it's a girl and Robbie if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy! It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right, to the hospital. Quickly now, don't panic. Bye. 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 Good luck. Did you pack everything on the list? I've got it all. Pillows, scented candles, yoga music, and enough food for three days. <laughs> don't panic, don't panic. Anyone in? We are having a rabbit! Hello, sister. What are you doing here? I'm having a baby, remember? Oh, yes. You better come inside then. Can I come too? Moo! You'll have to park the car first. Don't worry. Having a baby always takes a long time. Out of the way, everyone! My sister's having a baby! A kettle and plenty of towels. This lot should last us a good few days. Oh, where shall I put all this stuff? Back in the car. We don't need it now. What? Squeak, Daddy! You missed all the excitement. Have I? Is it a boy or a girl? Both! <coughs> We've got baby twins! Wow! It is the next day, and Mummy Rabbit is home from hospital. Hello! Can we see the twins, please? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> Are they boys or girls? They're both. A boy and a girl. They're called Rosie and Robbie. So you did use both names. Yes. <laughs> Rosie Rabbit and Robbie Rabbit. They're the best names in the world. And we thought of them. <laughs> <laughs> Potato City. Pepper and her family are going to Potato City. What is? Potato City, Mummy. It's a theme park, Pepper, where the magic of vegetables never ends. It sounds a bit boring. It will be fun. Potato City, here we come. <laughs> here we are. The family have arrived at a field of potatoes. Is this Potato City? It must be. And it looks like we picked the right day to visit. There are no crowds. Are you sure this is the right place, Daddy Pig? It just looks like a farmer's field to me. Excuse me, is this Potato City? No, that's Potato City. <laughs> it isn't quite what I was expecting. It's fantastic. How many tickets? 
two adults and two children, please, Miss Rabbit. Busy, isn't it? Busy? No. This is quiet for Potato City. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Peppa's friends have come to Potato City too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. And this is Mr Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow, learn how they keep us fit and healthy, and get shot into space by the Potato Rocket! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the potato rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear George. Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. Talk away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Uh... This is brilliant! <laughs> Everybody off! <laughs> Wasn't it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Dinosaur Garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> I like Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. <laughs> Shadows. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper, George, and Rebecca Rabbit are playing piggy in the middle. Cat, Peppa. Cat, Rebecca. George is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> oh, George is trying to catch the ball's shadow. Silly George, that's not the ball. That's just its shadow. Look. When the ball moves, its shadow moves as well. You've got a shadow too, George. George is trying to walk away from his shadow. You can't walk away from your shadow. You need to run away from it. Peppa is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. <laughs> We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. 
We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever! It must be a giant! <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh. That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Pepper. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> my turn! Pepper has made a spider. My name is is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. Brrr. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Good night, shadows. Good night, Shadows. Horsey Twinkletoes. Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. I saw. George, you must stay on your side of the bedroom. That's your side. And this is my side. Do not cross the invisible line. Post! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr Zebra. Hello, Daddy Pig. I've got some letters for you. Is there anything for me and George? <laughs> hmm. I'm afraid not. They're all for Mummy and me. Oh. There's a parcel as well. Probably that box of reinforced concrete I ordered. Look at all the stamps on it. That's because it's from a long way away. Bye now. Bye-bye. Oh, the label says it is for Pepper and George. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh. There's a letter, too. Dear Pepper and George, here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dotty. Auntie Dotty lives far away in another country. Ooh. What is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? <laughs> There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it 
Twinkle toes. Aussie. Twinkle toes. Aussie. Twinkle toes. Aussie. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go! Go! Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> horsey, horsey! George! She's called Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! <sniffs> I know! Because the present is for both of us, we'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes! <laughs> Peppa and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Today is Freddy Fox's birthday and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. We're here! <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew. Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur. A real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Big dinosaur! 
dinosaur. Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide. <laughs> that is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbits! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> Basketball. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are in the school playground. <laughs> Children. Today, we have a special person coming to teach you basketball. Ooh. Hello. Daddy, it isn't home time yet. We've got a special teacher coming today. That's me. I'm the coach. A basketball teacher is called a coach. Ooh, that's clever, Daddy. Pepper, call me coach. OK, Daddy coach. Does anyone know how to play basketball? No. It's fun. You have to run, bounce the ball and throw it through the hoop. Easy. Oh. It is not as easy as it looks. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes, I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Danny. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. <laughs> now I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> You need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <laughs> 
Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <coughs> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. <coughs> the parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes. Well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. Hooray! All thanks to Daddy Coach. <laughs> <laughs> International Day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. They are dressed up in costumes from different countries. Today is International Day, when we celebrate all the countries of the world. Hooray! Pepper is dressed as France. I'm France. George is Russia. <laughs> Pedro is America. Yeehaw! Zoe is Japan. Konnichiwa! Susie is Holland. Hello! That's Dutch for hello! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, what do all the countries of the world do? They sing the song of harmony together. Hooray! I like singing. So do I. Does everyone remember the words? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Peace and harmony in all the world Peace and harmony in all the world Peace and harmony in all the world Peace and harmony <laughs> <laughs> Lovely! And later we will sing that for your mummies and daddies it is playtime. Enjoy yourselves. Play nicely together. All the countries are playing in the playground. The United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One, two, three. America, Russia, Spain and Greece are in the sandpit. <laughs> in a big sandcastle. <laughs> Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sand pit. Why? Because you've had your turn. You can play on the slide now. But we want to play here. <laughs> oh dear. There is not enough room in the sand pit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? It's our turn in the sand pit. But we were here first. Is Susie being a bit bossy? George started it. Leave George alone. He's only little. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sand pit. No. We're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's not right. Right. Oh dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the what? What's that noise? Oh no! The countries are fighting. We can't play in the sand pit. Yes, we can. It's not fair. Stop. Susie, you're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Absolutely. Children, children, what is happening? <laughs> America, Russia.
Russia, Spain and Greece won't share the sand pit. <coughs> Holland is being bossy. You're the bossy one. That is enough. Is this how you think the countries of the world behave? Um, don't they? Of course not. Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Hello. All the parents have arrived. How is International Day going? Uh, not too bad. Excellent. <laughs> Lovely. We will now sing for you the Song of Harmony. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony. Hooray! What a wonderful display of togetherness. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love singing together in harmony. All the countries of the world love singing together in harmony. It is a lovely sunny day. Pedro has a new play tent. Here are Peppa, George, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Wendy Wolf. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Howdy, everyone. Welcome to my cowboy camp. Yeehaw! It's a tent. It's a cowboy camp where cowboys sleep at night time. Are you going to sleep here in the night? <laughs> Um, no. That might be a bit scary, but we can pretend it's night time. But it's not night time. Just pretend the sun is the moon. Okay. okay. Pedro, can we be cowboys too? Yes, you could be my partners. <laughs> <laughs> is my little cowboy hungry? I sure am, Ma. That's how cowboys speak. Would you cowboys and cowgirls like something to eat too? Yes, please, Ma. Do the cowboys always camp next to their mummy's kitchen? No, you have to pretend the house is not here. This is the Wild West. What's that? The Wild West is the land where cowboys live. What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up. And it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo. Baked beans bingly bongly bang. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. Was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! Ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, Cowboy Pedro. I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! 
Mr. Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. Bye-bye, Cowboy Pedro! Bye-bye, everyone! Are you coming in, Pedro? I want to pretend sleeping a bit more. OK. Mummy, can I come in now? Yes, my brave little cowboy. Even brave little cowboys like to sleep indoors sometimes. Night, Pedro. Good night, Mom. The rainy day game. It is raining. Pepper and George have to stay inside. I don't like rainy days. I like rainy days because they make muddy puddles to jump in. Can we jump in muddy puddles now? Pepper, we need to wait until it's stopped raining. When will it stop? Let's listen to the weather forecast. This is the weather forecast. It will rain all day. Oh. I know. We can play the rainy day game. What's the rainy day game? I'll show you. If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy, if we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> but it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. <laughs> George has found the rubber duck. Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. <coughs> OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. <coughs> I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh. The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are. Pepper has found the rubber duck. It was in the fruit bowl. Hooray! Well done! <laughs> I want to play the rainy day game again. OK. This time you can both look for the duck. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for Pepper and George to find. Ready! I'm in the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> is it on the sofa? No. Is it on the television? No. It's not anywhere. Would you like a clue? It's sitting on something very big and very wise. And very handsome. Daddy! It's on your head. That's the best hiding place ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rain has stopped. Why don't we play outside? But I want to play the rainy day game again. I think you might like this outside rainy day game even better. What is this game? Give me a clue. We need to find a muddy puddle. I found it. Is that the game? This game is not just about the finding, Pepper. What do you do with a muddy puddle? Hmm. Jump up and down. <laughs> 
jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> I like rainy day games, especially the one when you jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Mr and Mrs Kangaroo have come to visit. Hello. Good day, Mr Pig. We met at the airport. Remember? Um. It was a while back. You said we could visit any time. Did I? Yeah. Since we last saw you, we've had Kylie and Joey. Say hello, kids. Hello. I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> And this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. <laughs> Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. <laughs> it's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yummy. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First, we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. <laughs> George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Squeak. Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. Kylie <laughs> Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. <laughs> Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! Me! Mmm, yummy! Peppa likes corn on the cob. <laughs> everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> You jump in muddy puddles. Wow, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Peppa's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Lost keys. Peppa and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. 
Thank you for visiting the Mountain Beauty Spot. See you again soon. No, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <laughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Pool. Pool. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the Chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! Hooray! Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh... Where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. Ooh. All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes, I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Competition. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow we will have a pet competition. Ooh. Bring your pets to school. The best pet will win a prize. I'm going to bring my pet goldfish. I'm going to bring my stick insect. I will bring my gecko. I'm going to bring monkey. Ooh, ooh. That's not a real pet. It's a doll. It's not a doll. It's Monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. He likes you, Danny. Zoe can bring Monkey if she wants to. 
Home time, children. <laughs> Don't forget your pets for the competition tomorrow. It is the evening before the pet competition. Pepper and Susie are getting Goldie the fish ready. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <laughs> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <coughs> now you do it. <coughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited about the competition, monkey? <coughs> Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <coughs> Madam Gazelle? Who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too. Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <coughs> yes. Who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <clears throat> Tiddles the Tortoise! <gasps> Dr Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. That's not fair! It's your own pet! Oh, no! This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to... Goldie the fish. Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to the gecko. Hooray! The prize for the pet who looks most like a stick goes to Stephen. Hooray! The prize for the best monkey. Dr Hamster, he's not a real monkey. He's just pretend. The prize for the best pretend monkey goes to monkey. Hooray! But Dr Hamster, which is the best pet of all? All of them. They're all happy, healthy pets. They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> the noisy night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Peppa and George are awake. What's that noise? It's 
the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no. We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family. Everyone is back in their beds. Asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. <coughs> George was a baby. We used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now. Which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy! That's baby Alexander's room! Ah! Oh. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet! Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. All right. Cheerio. Oh, all that loud. Noise has sent baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs>